Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 29th of May. India's COVID-19 tally crosses 160,000 mark as lockdown nears end. Locust attacks in Pakistan raise fear of massive food shortages. And Afghan officials say ceasefire remains even as skirmishes with Taliban resume. And now for all the details. India on Friday recorded its biggest ever spike of over 7,400 COVID-19 cases in a day, taking the tally to over 160,000. This comes as the country approaches the end of its fourth phase of nationwide lockdown until May 31. As India approaches the end of its fourth phase of nationwide lockdown to curb the COVID-19 spread, the country on Friday recorded its biggest ever spike of over 7,400 COVID-19 cases in a day. India's COVID-19 count has crossed the 160,000 mark with a total of 4,706 deaths due to the infection. Its western Maharashtra remains the worst hit province due to the pandemic with 38,948 active cases and 1,982 associated deaths. Seeking views on extension of the ongoing nationwide lockdown beyond May 31st, Interior Minister Amit Shah on Thursday held separate phone calls with chief ministers of several provinces. Maniya Mantri Home Minister Maniya Sri Amit Ji Shah in ke saath mein मेरे टेलीफोनी के लिए कन्वर्जन हुआ और उसमें मुझे लगता है कि ये लॉकडाउन जिस स्थिति में है उस स्थिति से आगे 15 दिन तक 15 जून तक बढ़ सकता है लेकिन फिर भी हमारी कोशिश ये है एक दो तीन चीज रिलैक्सेशन देना चाहिए इंडियन प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी अनाउंस द फर्स्ट लॉकडाउन फ्रॉम मार्च 24 इन अ बिट टू कंटेन द स्प्रेड ऑफ कोरोना वायरस व्हिच वाज सब्सिक्वेंटली एक्सटेंडेड फॉर द थर्ड टाइम टिल मे 31st Citing downturn in the economy, the fourth lockdown included some relaxations like resumption of domestic flights and other businesses. The government also introduced $266 billion stimulus package to help mitigate the damage caused by the pandemic and previous lockdowns. U.S. President Donald Trump has once again reiterated his offer to mediate between India and China over recent border issue. While sidestepping Trump's offer to mediate, India said that New Delhi is in talks with Beijing to deal with the military standoff on the border issue. China too followed suit and rejected Trump's mediation offer. After offering to mediate between India and China over the recent border standoff, U.S. President Donald Trump said that Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in no good mood about what's going on with Beijing. However, according to local media reports, there have been no recent talks between the two leaders over the issue, and they last spoke on April 4. India's Foreign Ministry had on Thursday said that New Delhi is in talks with China to deal with the military standoff on the border issue, sidestepping Trump's offer to mediate. India is committed to the objective of maintenance of peace and tranquility in the border areas with China and our armed forces scrupulously follow the consensus reached by our leaders and the guidance provided. At the same time, we remain firm in our resolve to ensuring India's sovereignty and national security. Meanwhile, Chinese Foreign Ministry on Friday said there was no need for a third party to mediate between the two countries on the border issue. The troops of the two countries are in a standoff in India's northern Ladakh region in the Himalayas. There was also a tense face-off between Indian and Chinese troops in Sikkim earlier this month. The current face-off is believed to be in reaction to India steadily building infrastructure in Ladakh and the increase in local civilian activity on the Indian side of line of actual control. For China, this is an irritant because India is rapidly narrowing down the infrastructure gap in Ladakh. In news from Pakistan, 
Already hit hard by coronavirus, farmers in Pakistan are now battling a massive invasion of most destructive insects, locusts. Concerns are intensifying as summer crops like cotton, sugarcane and rice are being sown and fruits and vegetables are ready to be picked. Farmers across Pakistan are suffering the worst plague of destructive pests, locusts, in recent history, which has caused billions of dollars in damage and fears of long-term food shortages. The farmhands are facing the impending locust attack amid the rising spread of COVID-19 and just when summer crops of cotton, sugarcane and rice are being sown and fruit and vegetables are ready to be picked. टिड्डी दल कोरोना से कहीं ज्यादा खतरनाक है अगर आप सौ गुना हजार गुना कहेंगे तभी मैं कहूंगा हजार गुना ज्यादा खतरनाक है क्योंकि ये फसलें ही है जो कोरोना के खिलाफ आपने जंग लड़ी है तो आपके पास फसल थी गंदम थी सब्जियां थी हर चीज खाने के लिए थी कोई शख्स भूखा नहीं सोया टू काउंटर द लोकस्ट अटैक द पाकिस्तान गवर्नमेंट हैज सेट अप अ नेशनल लोकस्ट कंट्रोल सेंटर व्हिच इज मॉनिटरिंग एंड कोऑर्डिनेटिंग द एंटी लोकस्ट ऑपरेशन अक्रॉस द कंट्री Locusts move in swarms of up to 50 million and can travel 90 miles a day and lay as many as 1000 eggs per square meter of land. Since December 2019, an international locust outbreak of exceptional severity spread across the Horn of Africa and the Middle East before moving on to Asia. Scientists say that climate change may have played a role in this incursion. More on news from Pakistan. Search teams have recovered the cockpit voice recorder from the wreckage of a Pakistani airliner that crashed last Friday into a crowded residential district of the port city of Karachi. Search teams on Thursday recovered the cockpit voice recorder from the wreckage of a Pakistani airliner that crashed last week, a spokesman for the airline said. The Pakistan International Airlines Airbus or PIA A320 crashed last Friday into a crowded residential district of the port city of Karachi killing 97 people on board to survived. The area near crash site was cordoned off by police and army personnel as two trucks carrying debris from the plane wreckage left. The flight data recorder had already been found. Meanwhile, residents in Karachi recalled the very moment when PIA flight PK-8303 crashed into their homes. When we were on the floor, we were on the floor and we were on the floor. When we were on the floor, we were on the floor and we were on the floor. I didn't say anything. If we were on the floor, we were on the floor and we were on the floor. We were on the floor and we were on the floor and we were on the floor. We were on the floor and we were on the floor. We were on the floor. Authorities said there were no fatalities in the village, although there were several injuries, including Naida. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan has announced that authorities are investigating into the cause of the crash, the worst air disaster since 2012. Moving on. Founder of Pakistan's Muttahida Qaumi movement, Altaf Hussain, has appealed to the U.S. Congress to table a bill for the independence of Sindh and Balochistan, the two provinces of Pakistan where people are facing worst human rights crisis. The self-exiled Muhajir leader in a statement highlighted that Pakistani army uses abduction, torture and extrajudicial killings as tactics to muzzle dissenting voices of activists and innocent civilians in Sindh and Balochistan. He said attempts to highlight the situation have long been repressed by Pakistan and requested the international community to take notice of the violence against their peaceful struggle. In news from Afghanistan, Afghan officials and Taliban have reported attacks by the other side a day after a three-day ceasefire expired on Tuesday night. but officials have said there were minor incidents and the truce could still hold. Afghan government on Friday confirmed that the three-day Eid ceasefire that has been in place since May 27 between the government and the Taliban continues to remain in effect despite reports of scattered incidents. 
taking to Twitter spokesman for Afghan National Security Council Javed Faisal said the detente that started during Eid al-Fitr continues despite reports of scattered incidents to the contrary a ceasefire is a complex operational undertaking that requires significant and ongoing coordination to avoid incidents those efforts will continue there have been skirmishes in afghanistan between taliban fighters and the security forces in the day since the truce expired but officials said the incidents were minor and the truce will still hold Each side has accused the other of attack. The government said Taliban attacked checkpoints in Parwan province, while the Taliban said the government carried out air strikes on Wednesday in Zabul, a southern province, without provocation from them. The government had earlier appealed for an extension to the ceasefire, but the Taliban has not responded. Moving on to news from Nepal. Nepal's finance minister Yubaraj Khatiwada while presenting the budget to the parliament on Thursday said that Nepal aims to further strengthen relations with neighboring countries his remarks come amid ongoing border row with India Nepal's finance minister Dr Yubaraj Khatiwada said on Thursday that Nepal aims to further strengthen relations with neighboring nations and the country's foreign policy would function on the basis of mutual benefits and respect Khatiwara made the statement while presenting the budget for the fiscal year 2020-21 in the parliament his remarks come amid ongoing border row with neighboring India The Nepal government introduced budget with a ceiling of 1474 billion Nepali rupees and has prioritized health sector and economic recovery as COVID-19 pandemic continues to grip hold in the Himalayan nation. Sarvabhaumik samanta ka aadhar ma antarrashtriya sambandh kaayam garine cha. Parashtra niti lai rashtriya hit parasparik labh ra samman अंतरराष्ट्रीय प्रतिबद्धता तथा दायित्व और न्याय में आधारित होने का रिश्ता संचालन करने से। Tension has been mounting between New Delhi and Kathmandu after Nepal issued a revised political map this month, which claims disputed territories of Kalapani, Limpia Dhura, and Lipu Lake as its own. Nepal government this week deferred its plan to move a constitutional amendment in parliament to give legal backing to the map as the main opposition Nepali Congress party has sought time to discuss the issue India has said the tri junction is part of its territory but it remains open for dialogue to resolve the issue Small scale entrepreneurs in India's Jammu and Kashmir territory have diverted their production towards making masks out of khadi fabric as the demand has surged amid the coronavirus pandemic. The workers in small units have hailed efforts by Khadi and Village Industries Commission as they are able to earn their livelihood amid the crisis. Small scale entrepreneurs in India's northern Jammu and Kashmir are being engaged in making masks of khadi fabric as the demand for face masks has increased amid the coronavirus pandemic the workers working in small units hailed khadi and village industries commission or kvic efforts as they are earning their livelihood amid the virus crisis kvic under india's ministry of micro small and medium enterprises seeks to promote and assist in the establishment and development of khadi and village industries in rural areas kvic works in coordination with other agencies engaged in rural development wherever necessary jaise mera kaam hai manufacturing jute manufacturing mein universities ko supply karti hu school colleges ko supply karti hu offices ko main supply karti hu conference bags executive bags तो अब तो हालात पिछले साल से ख़राब ही है इस साल तो ज़्यादा ही ख़राब हो गए हालात अब तो इन के वी आई बी के थ्रू हमें ये ऑर्डर्स मिले हैं मास्क बनाने का तो हम अब तो ये यही काम हो रहा है यहाँ पर ऑल दिस इज बिंग डन अंडर प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स एम्प्लॉयमेंट जनरेशन प्रोग्राम और पी एम ई जी पी स्कीम के वी आई सी हैज सो फार सप्लाइड ओवर वन मिलियन खादी मास्क टू जम्मू एंड कश्मीर गवर्नमेंट Well that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. 
Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.